Hello and welcome to my channel on human design. Today we're going to be looking at the 1-3 profile and the aura secrets of the 1-3 profile. In the 1-3 we have the 1, which is the investigator, the one that digs deep, that finds out what is under the surface, what something is really about. The first line is either weak or strong. And when you're weak as a 1-3, you want to find out about it. You don't like being weak. And the only way to find out is to go into it, is to investigate it, is to keep digging until you get to a good, solid foundation of whatever it is. So it's not an easy thing to be a young 1-3 because you haven't looked into things that much. I remember when I was uh, a boy, I'd learned the... Um, astronomy and various distances from planets and all the rest of it and my dad would have me in there reciting what I'd remembered there was always something I wanted to look into there was always something that fascinated me but you've got to learn and you've got to learn by trial and error because the other part of the third line uh, the other part of the profile is the third line which is trial and error it's about learning from your mistakes, but it is about making mistakes. So I've learned many things through making mistakes. I mean, you find yourself in it and then you've got to get yourself out of it. And you've usually got to go into the details or speak to other people to help you understand what did go wrong. One of the things I like about the third line is there is this resilience to us resilience in the body. Ra often talked about uh, one threes being able to kind of bounce back up. You know, you get knocked over, but they keep coming back. They keep coming back. You know, there's a resilience. It's like, okay, that didn't work. Let me try another way. Mm, that didn't work either. Maybe this one will work. And so there is a certain tinkering mentality that I, that I put to the one three uh, aura because we can keep going and and try to find out what it is especially if you're a generator a little bit different if you're a projector you might not bother so much but there will be something that you do stick at and in that sense i think it's important for you to understand that the first line is really at its best when it's been looking at something for a long time and builds up enough knowledge in it or experience in it to be an expert. So the natural experts are the first lines because they will dig in deep and they will keep on going. You never know what is underneath the layer that you already know. Uh, and if it's something that you're really interested in, then you're gonna look deep. The bumping into things is something that uh, Ra used to have a lot of fun with us. Say, so, yeah, the one threes are going to bump into this and bump into that. Well, yeah, I mean, I kind of think of the one three profile as a as something you send out into deep space. And if they survive, they give back good information if they survive. So our direction can very easily be put off or we can be distracted or hurtled into another direction, depending on who we meet what we meet, what doors we open, what doors we close. There can be a change of direction that can be, it's quite a chaotic uh, profile in that sense. Um, there's this mutative quality in the third line where, yeah, we can get involved with quite a variety of different things. It's always about coming back to your strategy and authority and to concentrate on those things that you're really interested in that's where you're going to make your mark that's where you're going to dig deep and be useful to other people because of your depth information how in this bumping in well yeah we do bump into things and things bump into us literally that doesn't mean that we're clumsy because once something's bumped into you you can go wait a minute i didn't like that maybe you'll bump into it again but probably not the third time or after that you begin to be quite aware of the obstacles that are getting in your way as a one three i mean after all we're here to discover things discovery is an important part of the third line and so we have to make the mistakes in order to discover we're wrong or it was wrong or whatever it may be and then have another go um so it's not that we're clumsy it is that we 
learn from our mistakes. If you don't learn from your mistakes as a one three, well, then it is a bit of a hellish trip. Um, I do know one threes that get locked into things and don't follow the fundamental law of all third lines. And the fundamental law of all third lines is if it's not working, break the bond and move on. And that sounds pretty ruthless, but actually that is the healthiest thing for a third line to do. Um, it's one of those profiles where you already know about resistance in terms of moving through life. Well, when a one three meets resistance, especially with others or their career, whatever it may be, there will be this, okay, there's no point carrying on because I ain't going anywhere with this. There is no mutation in this. There is no growth in this. Uh, reach the end of the road in some ways. So there can be a little bit of a burning of the bridges with the third line. Uh, and that's in all the third line profiles. Um, with the one three, well, you know, what can I tell you? <laughs> uh, the first line is conscious. The third line isn't conscious. So it'd be like, okay, well, that didn't work. And then we move on. And there can be a certain amount of devastation left behind us that we're not conscious of. Of course, as you continue to live as a one three, you know, you do get wiser. You do have a lot of experiences. The third line is an experiential line. But you know you've got to you've got to grow through all the all the mistakes and all the uh, dead ends on the way before you can get to really know what is suited to you in your life, or in terms of human design, what your energy or what your awareness is telling you about the trajectory you're going in. Basically, following strategy and authority. I mean that cuts out so many things. It's it's a wonderful thing. Please. Please follow strategy and authority because that's really what does work. And I tell you, I've been in human design for what, 25 years? You know, if there were mistakes in it, if there were things that didn't work, I would have found them by now. I mean, I've looked deeply into it, every aspect I can find. And to the best of my knowledge, it's a, it's a really perfect system. Um, yeah, I would point out things if there was anything wrong with it. I wouldn't be in it. If, if I found mistakes in it, I, I don't want to advise people incorrectly. So has my vote, obviously. When you do make mistakes as a one three, there's usually a cost to pay, a price to pay. And yes, that can be financial. You know, that can be material. You know, you can lose some of that material when you make mistakes. Um, so that's just part of the process. It's part of your understanding. Um, it's important for one threes to be self providers, you know, to make sure that they've got their own financial income, their own um, their own solid foundation in the material world, because it is a material profile to some extent. We are deeply self-absorbed characters we're not particularly social. And of course you can, you can say, well, what if you're a one three with the 1222 surely you'd be more social then? Yes, you would, but that doesn't mean that you would be as social as someone who didn't have a, a one three profile. So what usually happens is a one three goes along to the party or bumps into someone and ends up in a party. And where are they? They're going to be in the kitchen having a good one-to-one -one in-depth conversation with someone. They're not going to be going around saying, hello, I'm this and hello, and who are you and all the rest of it. We're not fourth lines. It's not something that particularly interests us. We're interested in getting to the meat of whatever it is, getting into the, the investigation of something that fascinates us. And it can be all kinds of things. Um, we're all different in that. So it's experience over time. It's accepting the trial and error you know if you have a one three child then don't tell them they've done it wrong and they're bad it's like what did you learn from doing it wrong what did you learn you know let's try it this way you learned that this is the right way so helping them empowering them in their discovery process is going to be very useful for them and very useful for you as well 
All right, I hope you enjoyed my, my quick overview there. Uh, if you want more uh, in-depth information, I've done a complete video um, on the One Three profile and it'll be linked in the description below if you want to go get that for all you One Threes. If you want the full gambit, that's the place to go. Okay, I will see you again next time. Bye for now.